I'm Tom from Doody Self Home Automation, and this is a look at my AZ7755 CO2 meter. Uh, so this is a meter that's used to measure the CO2 level in a room. I'm going to switch it on by holding this button. And this is a great proxy for determining how good the ventilation is in a room. And that can be really important to make sure, especially if there's any kind of concern about viruses or bacteria or anything in the air circulating, that uh, you don't end up with um, too much of that in the air because if there's good ventilation in the room, it's a good bet that that's being vented to the outside. And CO2, again, because people breathe it out, it's going to accumulate in a room if people are breathing a lot in that space and it's not being ventilated. So this allows you to measure that. Um, and you can see when we first switch it on, it's going to take 30 seconds to warm up. And then it's going to give me a CO2 reading in ppm, parts per million. And it's also going to give me the air temperature and the uh, relative humidity in the room. So it updates every second. You can see uh, in here in my room, in my kitchen now, it's 591 ppm. And um, anything under 800 is generally considered to be pretty well ventilated. 400 is the baseline level outside. So if you're outdoors, it should be about 400. Um, again, in my room, looking pretty good. If it starts to be poorly ventilated air, where people are breathing a lot and it's not being changed out with fresh air from outside, you'll see this number creep up over 1,000, maybe even over 2,000. So this is a great way with this meter to walk into any space and um, be able to quickly get a read on the CO2 and uh, proxy thus for how well ventilated that space is. And if you see that that number is too high, uh, you could open windows, you could turn on vents or fans and try to get some of that uh, CO2 out and uh, just get fresh air into the space. Um, you can see you can also calibrate this uh, by bringing it outdoors and using the calibration setting. And there's a hold function as well that you can use to preserve a particular reading. If you want to write it down or something, you can switch on the hold and uh, save it there. So that's my AZ7755 CO2 meter, really useful for figuring out the general level of ventilation in a given room.